What's it? Thank you. What's the name of God? Well, I see you. Allah. <laughs> What's the name of God? That's a, that's a name. Oh, yes, it is. Name. It is a name. Okay. Of course, you can, my sister. It's like ignorance, but why is this? Don't worry about it. Like. Problem. It's not a problem for us, it's a problem for them. I agree with you. You see, the, I'll tell you why it becomes a major problem. One second, my friend, I'll see. You, you see, uh, the problem here arises simply because... Eb, eb, don't you dare push me again or I'll send you to hospital. I don't mean it. Uh, he's my brother. Anyway, you see, why it becomes so vital? Yeah? Here, we have a faith, Christianity, that claims that a man who came, who belonged to God, became God. Well, now, God, God means so many different Jesus things. Christ, okay? Can I just deal with it a little with you? Yes? You have this person who now, is, is, people are claiming is God. Well, what was his name? It wasn't Jesus, because no. that is a Latinized form of what it was originally. Yes, I agree with that. Okay? So, when they call him Jesus, the question here is, well, I'm sorry, what is your name? Molly. Molly. Yeah. That's a truly American name, that is. <laughs> you see, if, if I, sorry, if I start calling you something that is offensive, would you like it? No. No. Now, it's simple. I mean, that's reasonable, okay? All the Muslim is contending with our Christian friends, okay? The ones who are reasonable. Not like the demon, our Christian friends. I wasn't pointing at you. Oh, yeah? yeah. yeah? Uh, we tell them, look, why do you want to offend God even yeah. according to the biblical standard? You see, they make it into an issue because they claim that Allah is a demon, as he was suggesting. Oh, okay. Now, so well, as far as I'm concerned, it's all nonsense anyway. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay. However, it raises an important issue. What is the name of God? You see, if you look in the Old Testament, Deuteronomy 6, 4, the one I just quoted, it says very clearly, Shema Israel Adonai Ilahi no Adonai Echad. But that very same statement is used by Mark 12, 29. Jesus is attributed with this statement in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. Israel, Adonai, Elahinu, Adonai, Ehud. Now, the verse itself says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord, is one. Shema Israel, Hear, O Israel, our Lord, Adonai, our God, Allah, our Lord, Adonai, one, a hood. What is the name of God? Oh, yeah. It's simple, isn't it? Yeah, same thing. Why, why are you arguing? I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm I glad you him, are. I call I, him Allah. I call him Allah. I know I you do, my God friend. As well. I agree with Allah you. Allah means God. It's yes. not about name. Yes. Yes. Actually, actually my friend. Oh, 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 don't get excited. No, 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 my friend, God, God, actually, God. Yeah, that's all, and I've answered it. Actually, my friend, no. No, we are not arguing. I'll tell you something. Another, an no, no, no. Another important thing you must bear in mind. No, another No, 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 my friend. Another important thing is Allah is not translated to God. Yeah, it is. It's not. I'm a I know. I it's, 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 listen to me. Can I understand Arabic better than you do? I'm glad. I call him Allah, and Allah means God. I'm glad you do. I'm glad you do. Can I? It's not a name. It's Allah means God. That's it. Okay. Are you finished? Yes. Do you know? Do you know how to reason? How to what? Do you know how to reason? You just told me you know how to do this. You know this. You know that. You know. Do you know how to reason? Do you? Yes. Okay. Tell me. Do you know of a God's son? God's son. A godson. You know what that is? A child. Oh yeah. Exactly. Do you know? A, do you know a godfather? Yeah. Godmother. Yeah. Goddess. What's your point? Well, Be reasonable. Be reasonable. <laughs> Goddess. Godling. You heard of all this? I'm sure you guys have heard of all this. You see, the very word itself is subject to all kind of uh, ramifications. No, you told me. Oh, if you, I know. I know. But listen to me. So I'm asking you. Okay. Okay. Now if I ask you, you know Arabic, teach me something here. The word, the, the name of God, Allah, according to what you understand. What does Allah mean? God. No, in Arabic. What does it mean? No, we need to... In Arabic. Oh, don't give me that. What does it mean in Arabic? To understand. Allah means God. That's it. Yes. Look, you are a Christian. Everybody should understand. You are a Christian, aren't you, my friend? You are a Christian, my friend. You are a Christian. And yeah. My friend, you still don't know that. <laughs> do you? Do you seriously? You explain. explain. My, uh, well, if that is the case, then you should. You should. You should, you should make. You should make. Well, how can you say that to me when you are not even giving me the explanation? When I'm the one who told you, look, tell me this. I don't know. Who says I'm the professional? So you made it an opinion again. No, no. You're not being reasonable here, my friend. 
You I'm, I'm not surprised you are a Christian, aren't you? I am. Anyway, Christian. let's deal with you. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you are. That's, that, no, it's, that's all it is. Now, you see, what happens, unfortunately, is that it leads to one very important aspect here. The aspect of Jesus Christ. What, you see, at one time, he was a clear, righteous man of God. Right. 325, 330 years later, he became a son of God, right. and from then on, he became God himself. No, no, yeah. Okay. Ask awesome. me why. Ask okay. me why. You're telling me things I believe in. Right? Do you believe in that? You, you believe see, in that? if, if okay. you take right. it that right. way. No, yeah? because he's saying I'm that. Being, I'll deal with you. you. Ask the Christian what he believes in. No, you can tell he's an Arab, very emotional. All Arabs are emotional. Where's my friend? No, no, I'm a Christian. Where is he? He's there. 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 Yeah. Can you take it to the side? Well, basically, what I'm saying is, you see, it becomes important. In this situation we are in, okay, people can claim whatever they want, but there is one ultimate reality we all have to face, that one day we will die. Yeah, that's all it is. Now, obviously, if one rationally and reasonably considers this, okay, and contemplates over it, one will come to the conclusion that all this that we have today, including the universe, did not just arise as a result of an accident, a random accident. And I'm talking from the technical perspective, yeah? You understand, right. Now, if that is the case, we also accept that there are certain forms of action that human beings undertake, which are clearly anti-human. Uh -huh. yeah. Basically, if I walk into a street and I don't like the look of someone, yeah. I go and severely beat him up. I understand, but why? I understand, but why do you think it's wrong? Right. Excellent. It sounds reasonable, doesn't it? However, if I take my opinion, work this out carefully. If I take my opinion by beating him up, yes, beating him up, then you come to me and tell me why the hell did you go and do something like that? And I tell you, well, look, this is what my God tells me to do. Mm -hmm. so Can you see the significance of what I just said? No, no, it's not. Well, the thing is that you claim some sort of divine right. Yes. Now, you see, if somebody who starts claiming this and is misleading people, is it not your duty to correct it? I'm the father. Reasonably speaking. It is, but within reasonable confines, within reasonable parameters. Okay? Now, Unfortunately, with some people, you can just forget the whole idea of having reasonable conversation. It's, it's dead. Yeah. Now, whichever way we go, you see, I one of the one of the things our Christian friends don't do is actually establish the fact. You see, they will claim that the Quran says this, the Quran says that. But when you challenge them with it, sorry, brother, when you challenge them with it, well, don't generalize. Of course, I. Uh, no, you see. Uh, no, no, not only him. But you see, I haven't come across any who have actually taken the time out to do that. That's what I'm saying. There's another one who comes here, okay? He's an Englishman. He does exactly the same. He quotes verses from the Quran, completely out of context, and he doesn't give you the opportunity to actually go into a discussion and correct it. We Muslims are always willing. I'm here, I'm a Muslim, and I'm willing to tell anybody who tells me, look, this is what it says. I said, look, here it is, let's have a discussion. All Christians are unreasonable and all No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, oh, definitely I'm not. I know just as many Muslims who are unreasonable. So what I'm saying is that the people who are claiming that, look, let's apply reason to this. Yeah? Uh -huh. I'm talking about those people, including the Christians. Yeah? Uh -huh. Unfortunately, every time I, I come across Christians, the moment we go down to reason, they don't want to discuss anymore. I, I, I find it a problem. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's what they come with. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, of course, it's not justification. However, no, 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 it sounds reasonable. But in this country now, it's so cosmopolitan. Okay? People are. Look, I'm coming and telling my Christian friends look, Jesus was not God. I'm challenging what he right. believes. Right. Right. He has an equal right to tell me, yeah, but Muhammad was not a prophet, right. which is fine. Yeah. However, I will take that way a step further and say, right, let's deal with it evidentially. Yeah. That's what reasonable people do.
true. They don't shout and think they know everything. Okay? They be reasonable about it. Now, what is wrong with being reasonable? Like I'm being reasonable and you are being very reasonable. Okay? We are just trying to explain something or have a discussion based on some premise or other and trying a, try to establish some common ground. That's what we are trying to do. Now, when I say, look, Jesus is not God. Yes? You see, when I challenged him on John 1.1, 1, 1, why he would not go to it, I know. Because I've met many Christians. They will not go to it because it completely destroys their argument. And they know it. But they won't go to it. I expect that from him. Because I know him. But the rest of the Christians, I would expect to be reasonable exactly the same. Talk to me. Tell me why I am wrong. One Christian lady, and I give her credit, and I remember her up to this day. She had the courage of her conviction, stood there with me and said, okay, you are saying Jesus is not God. She said, I am saying Jesus is God. I said, okay, where does the evidence in the Bible prove he is God? And she referred to John chapter 10, verse 30. This verse states, I and my father are one. Okay, that's what the verse says. Now, she used that as evidence. I said, you see, sister, it sounds reasonable. Your answer sounds reasonable. Have you actually addressed it? Have you actually checked this statement? Because this is one statement amongst a whole, uh, you know, situation that Jesus was found to be in. So I refer her to uh, verse 23 of chapter 10. That's where it starts. Jesus is walking in the porch of Solomon's temple. The Jews come to him. I'm, I'm actually quoting, I'll paraphrase as well, okay? They, they come to him and they say, if you be the Christ, tell us plainly. He replies to them, he says, look, I've shown you many good works, many things I've shown you, okay? What more do you want? And then he says to them, look, the ones who know me, believe in me. Yeah, the ones who don't reject me. But I have got my father on my side. Nobody can pluck them out of my father's hand. Verse 28. Verse 29, he says, nobody can pluck them out of my hand. Verse 30. I and my father are one. This is what the statement says. Now, I'm, I'm saying to the Christian sister, are you saying this verse is saying he is God? She says, yes. I said, well, you see, if you read on, you will find your misunderstanding is cleared. Yeah? Verse 31 says, they took up stones to stone him. Yeah, verse 31. Verse 32, Jesus Christ tells them, many a good works have I shown you. For which of the good works do you stone me? He's make, when he said, I and my father are one, they suddenly took stones to stone him. He asked them, what is this for? I've shown you many good works. They said to him, for a good work we stone you not, but for blasphemy. For after being a man, you make it thyself like God. Now can you see how they have misunderstood? When he made the statement, I and my father are one, the Jews at that time also misunderstood what he said. That's why they put, picked up stones to stone him. Yeah? What do you mean they misunderstood? They disagreed with him. They didn't believe him. No, no, no. They didn't. You see, when he said, I and my father are one, they picked up stones. When they picked up stones, he asked them, many a good works, not what I said, what I have done. Many a good works have I done. For which of the good works do you want to stone me? What? Can I just finish? Which of the good works do you want to stone me? Now he realizes something's amiss here. Okay? Why do they want to stone him? So they reply to him, for a good works we stone you not. But after being a man, you make thyself a god. Blasphemy. You have committed blasphemy. So it is what he said, not what he did. Yes? So far so good. Now you see, he realizes they have made a mistake. So he turns to them, verse 33 onward. He said, is it not written in your law? I said, you are God. He is quoting from Psalm 84, where it says, God, whoever, when he sent his prophets, he called them God. Yeah? So Jesus Christ is telling them, according to this narration anyway, he is telling them, if to whom the word of God came, the scripture came, and God called them God, why do you have a problem with me, whom the Father has sent and sanctified, and who has called himself the Son of God? Now you see, he has just explained to them, look guys, I'm not telling you I'm God here. Because if you go, if you explain it further, you go to John chapter 17, verse 20 to 22, Jesus Christ makes a claim to the Father. He says, Father, as I am in you, 
let them, the disciples, be in me, and let us all be one. Now, is that meaning there are 20 gods now or something? No, it doesn't. The, the, the statement is explained. So I told you, you see, with, with respect, this statement doesn't prove Jesus. In, in fact, on the contrary, it disproves what you are trying to say. Okay, so how does this relate to the whole issue that we were talking about earlier about the name of God? It's very easy. It, the simp it's a, there's a correlation. You see, if I ask our Christians generally, what is the name of God, what will they say? I know, but okay, like well, Exactly. Born again will say Jesus Christ. Yeah? Or some will say the Father. Yeah? Now, the question becomes very important. Who is it? Is it Jesus Christ? So, can you see? You see there's an interrelation and a correlation between the two. Now, all we are trying to say, yeah, what we are trying to say is, look, let's deal with one specific issue at a time. So that's more reasonable. Yeah? If, if I'm asking you about John 1, 1 and you turn around in the Quran, it says this. What's your problem here, man? I'm, I'm willing to deal with the Quran. But why don't you deal with this first? Yeah. And as you saw for nearly two hours, you never dealt yeah, with it. I know. It's crazy. Exactly, I understand. But okay, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. No, basically, you see, when we ask Christians about this element of Jesus being God, okay, it is usually referred to John 1 1. Yes? In the beginning, there was the word. The word was with the Lord, the word was God. Okay? And then the verse carries on and the word was made flesh. Okay? Now, the question I'm asking my Christian friends is, when the two, you know, the word God is used, and the word God is used in the statement there, in the verse, in its Greek form, what is it? You were saying the one was whole logos, no one is whole. No, he said whole logos. The, the first one is Hosea, God. Not the word, the word is logos. Hosea. The second one is Son Theo. Now, what's the difference between the two? The one is a nominative and the one is an accusative. Exactly, but what's the difference in terms of application well, for God? Hang on, hang on. The Greek grammar is yes. what is it for. Yes. From what I understand, the one becomes a subject and the one becomes an object of the thing. Right. Well, so they both carry the definite article. Right. Well, if they are both carrying the definite article, what does Ton mean in Greek? Yes. What does Ho mean in Greek? Yes. And how do you apply it to God? Uh, well, there's only one true God if it says He's one. That's the point. You see, if there's only one true God, what is the Father? God. What is Jesus? Well, according, according to the, uh, the Christian belief. No, uh, according to the statement. No, according, to, according to John, uh, Christ Himself then would be looked upon as God. No, 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 no. No, that's according to interpretation. No, I'm, no, I'm no, talking no, in the literal no, sense. No, uh, I, can, I can say this because the Jehovah's Witnesses came yes. up with this argument yes. uh, for 2000 years. They also came back to the 300 Yes, years. yes, obviously. Right. Yes. Um, there isn't a Greek scholar outside of the uh, uh, Jehovah's Witness yes. in a circle yeah. that actually translates it as you trying to, to, to place your sin on it. No, no, I, I'm not. There. I'm not. So I agree with you. When you read the thing and it says, yeah. then the word became flesh. Yes. Which, which word was it? Was it the word in John 1, 1? No, that's what I'm asking. That's exactly the point. Because if the word was God. Right. Okay. Yes. And that word became flesh. Yes. Which word? So precisely, but then you have to uh, no, consider. No, no, I agree no, with you. You're missing the point here. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Can I, can I come back on you? Flesh? Exactly. Is there two words? Uh, yes. Before you say that. You say two words? No, no, no. Listen to me. Before you say that, the question you have to ask yourself is, when you go back to Genesis and God created everything, what did he use? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't there. What, what, do, you, what, what do you think he used? Well, he spoke and things came into being. What is that word? Yeah. So, which word are we talking about here? Well, the, the philosophical word in the Greek context was, was talking about the reason for life. The, Excellent. The, he was answering the Greek one. Excellent. You see, if you take it from the philosophical perspective, you can have many spins on it. Okay? But address it as and it which is. Which one do you choose? I'm telling you, straight. If it has been completely... Things, you can choose it has, no, 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 I'm saying from that perspective, from the philosophical. Don't look at it from the philosophical perspective. This is a book that is supposed to be a book of guidance. Okay? In the context of... If I can... In the context of guidance, the most basic belief you would expect to be straightforward. Reasonable. Not, a, not, no, not at all. So not at all. Not okay. At all. Tell us. Well, um, you're dealing with uh, God. I mean, let me, let me state, you asked the question in the beginning, God spoke. If I ask any other religion or anybody else, how did we come to be here? 
we can say, well, we assume God exists. This is a very complicated thing. Well, how did things come from a dealer or mm -hmm. did it progress yes. and come to evolution? Mm -hmm. This is not a simple matter, and it is a basic fundamental belief. Yes. So it's not fundamental, but right, okay. not, or not easy to mm -hmm. conceive. Not necessarily. You have to you have you to see, see by faith. Uh, no, 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 not at all, not necessarily. I'm talking about basic things. Is okay, for example, let me tell you. Thing. Oh, it's not. It, no, 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 it's not. If, if I don't uh, believe the can I just finish? I it's not. It you see, what you are talking about here is the mechanics. That's a different matter. What we are talking about is basic understanding. For example, sure, the mechanics one second, if I can just finish. No, 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 no. You see, there are things that are considered primary. There are things that are considered secondary. There are primary issues and there are secondary issues, okay? If you deal with the primary issues, okay, and you understand them, the secondary issues automatically fall into place. But if you make the secondary issues into primary ones and uh, dispense with the primary ones, you will lead to confusion. Hang on, you're getting, now, a, you're getting a bit of topic again. No, 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 I'm trying to. to I have already told you. All right, and I'll tell you again. I'll listen again because okay. maybe I'm missing you have, something. You probably have. The power of your argument is coming No, up. no, no, it's not the power of my argument. It's try, try simple again. reason. I'll listen again. Simple reason. In the beginning, there was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's what the statement says. Right. So now, we, I ask, one second. Can we just, can we just only, only that. that? What does that mean to you? To me, simple. In the beginning, there was the Word. It has ever been there. The statement itself is incorrect in its formation. I'm telling you what I say. Okay? It's incorrect because for the Creator, there is no beginning and there is no end. Statement, per se, so not important. Well, well, let, look, you've asked me. Let me finish. This is important because if we go I know it's important. The sun. If we don't draw a line yeah. under this and come okay. to a conclusion, which beginning? You yeah. automatically assume the beginning of, of time. I'm not assuming that. I, I'm not assuming that. The beginning of no, no, no. I, I'm glad you're asking me this. I'm glad. No, one second. Can I finish? Made, you've made a blunt. Statement. No, I haven't. I have said one second, my friend. Allow me to finish. If, if we cannot come to a, what is the beginning? Let me. I'm telling you. I have just told you. In its construction, it is incorrect. So I can I dispense with it. Why, one why second. I'll tell you why. Because you Christians believe it, not you. Christians believe in it. Okay, and, so and, we, whoa, whoa, one second, the, I am I'm telling, you. can I finish my friend? No. Because, Why not? What's wrong? Because we're both struggling to talk over one another. What I'm because you're not allowing me to finish. If we cannot Look, you're not allowing me to finish. I'm sorry, I'm going to push. Can I just finish? And then I'll allow you to speak. You see, I have, you've asked me, let me answer. I have dispensed right. with it, okay? I'll tell you what. Oh, come on, my friend. Try again. I have, time, I have dispensed with it. I am telling right. you, so and according... According to the Christians, they seem to believe, according to this verse, that in the beginning, whatever that beginning is, Jesus Christ... I don't know what the beginning is. According to the Christians, I'm telling you the Christians... You're telling me you don't know what the According to that, I've just told you, I've dispensed with it, I dismissed it because... You've dispensed with it, but you don't know what it is. No, 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 listen to me, you are not understanding, are you? Let me finish, then you will understand. I'm saying, but according to... You haven't dispensed with it if you haven't defined it. My friend, I am, how can I define something that is undefinable according to you? Okay, so you cannot define the beginning? No. Thank you. Yeah, whoa, That's where it. are you going? Wait a minute. Hey, come on. Hey, look, this, it's easy, it's easy to use semantics, okay? But let me deal with this. One second, let me deal with the rea reality here. Do you believe that statement? Yes. I would be a Christian if I did. Well, so you are a Christian? Absolutely. Excellent. So when the verse says, there was a God in the beginning, and the word was with God. No, it doesn't say there was a God. It's just in the beginning. Listen to me. God. Excellent. So you have a starting point. No, there's a difference. Do you have a starting point? You're talking about. Semantics. I agree with you. Let's get Do you have a starting point? point? In the beginning was the word, and the word. Excellent. In the beginning there was the word. What was that word? Was it in flesh? No. No, it wasn't. Was it a separate entity to God? Defined in that I didn't ask you that. Was it a separate entity to God? In that verse, it is defined was, as a separate was, entity. So is it a separate entity? It is a separate entity. So are you saying at the beginning there were two gods? Um, let, me, let me help you to... Uh, no, I didn't ask you that. No. Don't answer my question. In the beginning... Are there two gods according to what you just said, according no, to your understanding? No. Right, okay. So in the beginning there was the word. Yeah. Was that word a physical entity? Not, a, not in the beginning. Was it a spiritual entity? Not in the beginning. Was it a spiritual entity? I would believe so, yes. Was it an independent entity? Yes. It was. Was it a God? And the word was God, yes. Was it a God? Yes. And there was God with a God? That's right. So yes. there were two gods? No, one God. <laughs> see what I mean? You see, my friend, it's <laughs> easy to <laughs> use... Let, 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 let me finish. Let, let me... Explain this to you. Go on, let me explain to you. If you, you are a Muslim, is this true or, is this true or false? It's not true or false. I am a Muslim. You are a Muslim. Yes. All right. 
in uh, the Garden of Eden, do you believe in the concept of the Garden of Eden? Yes. Right. Satan is... Uh, no. What is Satan? No. Hang on. Are you have asked me a question, I will answer it. What is he, he was a creation of God made out of smokeless fire. So what is he, a spirit? Yes. I didn't know Muslims believe, believe in spirit. But anyway, he was a You spirit. didn't know, well you do now. Right. So this spirit, <laughs> this spirit can manifest himself as a snake? So he's two things? No. Or is he one? No, who said he does? That's what it says. Who says? Where? Is that not in the Where does he say that? Quran? Look, is he, is he not manifest? With, re with respect, my friend, you see, you sounded reasonable at first. But you have just lost it all. You see, what I'm saying... Well, no, 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 you've asked me, let me ask. Let me answer. You see, I tell my Christian friends, since you've mentioned it, okay? I tell my Christian friends, you see, first thing established through the Bible what the devil is, before you have the audacity to ask the Muslim what it ought to be. What I say to my Christian friends is, according to the Bible, the Bible itself says that Satan was not an angel. Now, if the Bible is saying Satan was not an angel, what do you say? I, I, what, are you, what are you trying to say here? What, I, I, I'll, what, tell you, I'll tell you what, with, with, due respect, what with, with due respect, my friend, you are here, you are not listening at all to what I'm saying. All you want to do is tell me what you think. Come on, say well, look, you're, you're And I'm not talking to you. you. Oh, and all I'm saying to you. I am. What are you trying to say? What's your I've just word? told you. You see, if you are going to ask a secondary question and you've not dealt with a primary one, you are making a nonsense of reason. Simple, isn't it? I think yes. you, you, are you telling me that Satan was not a snake in the, in the Garden of Eden? I am telling you. <laughs> I am telling you, according to the Bible, you need to first establish. To to I am. To listen Quran. to me. To How can we go to a snake? Because I want to. I want to no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I am. I am. I am. I am not. That's I am, all I'm demonstrating. Mm, you. Right. Is, is that all? You agree. Is that all you want to do? Yeah. So, what is reasonable about it? What's reasonable is that if you use math. Yes. To uh, define the Trinity or to define uh, the Godhead, ah, I see. You would struggle. I see. Is that what it is? Words, you so, entities, so, so I can say well, Satan and, and so and wait a minute. Are you are you accepting it's difficult? No, not at all. To deal I with the Trinity, it. I believe it. Do you accept it's difficult? It. So if you can't, why are you saying you the problem with faith. mathematics is this, that, and the other? Faith, you believe that you think what? you want. You see, I can't understand this. When Muslims talk to Christians, they never justify two one statement from here, one statement from there. If I talk to you as a Christian, I tell you, look, the Bible says X, Y, and Z. And let's deal with it accordingly. Reason tells me that the Christian should do the same. The Quran says this, let's deal with that. They don't take one from there and one from there and try and make uh, two out of it. Well, Mind you, I, I can expect that, that from the Christian friends. They make three out of one. I can, I can assure you, I believe that I'm truly logical and being reasonable with you. My when I say, if you as an, okay, uh, a fine. Muslim believe that... Uh, Satan was a uh, snake yes. in the Garden of Eden, yes. and he was created by God as something other. Yes. Then you believe two things can be one. Right. Okay. Is that not reasonable? Oh, oh, okay. It's so a, a, no, 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 no. I'm not insul insulting your intelligence. You, you, you are making it. You are making it sound reasonable. But you have missed my point oh, completely, okay, have you? Okay, haven't really? you? What was my point about you, as a Christian? Can you please first tell me what the devil is according to the Bible? Because Christians tell me he was an angel. I, I, whoa, 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 whoa. John 1, 1. In oh, no, you look, this, my friend, you are being very unfair. Just now, you kept wanting to go back to John 1, 1 with a guy, yeah. Yes, I did. Okay, let's go back to John 1, 1. What is your point in John 1, 1? I made my point already. You have, you have dealt with it and you have told me, look, when, when you said, look, let's go to it, I said, okay, let's go to it. In the beginning, there was the word. Was that word an independent entity? Was it separate from God? Was it a word, part of God? You have answered that, and when I pushed you further, I said, so if it's an independent entity, it was with God at that time? What was your answer? The leader or not? Uh, we can't blow with the wind the way the United States administration does. One day he's a bosom friend, the next day he's a devil. Well, one day they're giving him the gap to, to gap the uranium <laughs> and the next day they're accusing him of gap the uh, uranium Obviously. So precisely. But then at the end of the day, you see, yeah. the odd thing is, like a Canadian lady was just saying, yeah. the odd thing is that when we talk about actions that their governments and their people have committed, they usually find a justifiable reason for it. Yeah. Yet when the situation is the other way, they can't see any reason behind it. For example, everybody knows that the United States were the first to use weapons of mass destruction. They bombed the hell out of him. No, unless 
you understand. Look, me. now you see, you want oh, me to oh, answer oh, it the oh, way oh, you are going to oh, be pleased. That's exactly the point. I'm, Ridiculous. I'm standing here, you, you're trying to insult me, Al Qaeda. I haven't. I have insulted you. Of course, you are. You're trying to belittle my intelligence. I am not. I am only telling you, you see, my friend. what logos means. I've just told you what it means. And that's why I just told you that the word itself translated means the word, and this word, the way it is meant, can conceive of many things. It can be a knowledge of some kind. What is the difference between... Now look, here we go. Uh, uh, Rayma and uh, Hologa. What is the difference? The one is word and the one is word. What is the, the nuance of the show? Neither. You say nothing? Nothing. Well, I, I explain to me. Honestly, you go back and look at the book. And why? Can't you explain? Well, no. Why should Why? Why? You are the one who is an authority. You? I, when did I ever claim I was an authority? You did. I have never claimed. When? Friends, when I try to reason... I am, and I'm telling you again. I'm, I, it is, definitely. I will ask you again, my Christian friend. You are reasonable, aren't you? Were there two gods? Is that a question or a statement? A question. Were there, were there two gods is a question. No, there was one god. No, you see what I mean? Was the Logos an independent entity? Yes. It was. Was it part of God? Yes. It was. So it wasn't independent. It was independent and Look, was part of God. Now you are trying to tell me. Uh, <laughs> I know, yes. Are you, are you, are you uh, my you friend, look. example from your own faith. My friend, would you, would you, would you undertake, would you, on this matter, I mean, they are friends here. My friend, would you undertake a public debate on this issue with me? Uh, Look, I'm asking my friend. My friend here, it's easy to say something and then walk away. Why don't we have a public debate on this? No, no, I know what you mean. You see, I know that if you have it in public, with you sitting there and me sitting there, there is a chair, there'll be questions, etc. So when you say something, at least it gives the other person an opportunity to come back, to have a rebuttal. Like this, you say one thing, you say another, when the guy is trying to be reasonable with you, you are saying, oh no, you are insulting my... I'm not. I'm merely pointing out to you one fact. Once, look, you see what Let I mean? Let me ask you. you Before you go further... God is God. I'm not saying, I am not saying that. I am saying you Christians have a problem. And please explain to me. Listen to me. No, let me finish. You have a problem. I am saying to you, when it says, the word was with God in the beginning. In the beginning there was the word. The word was with God. Okay? I am saying, if that word, one the second, word of course it does, uh, and one. one second, it does even better. You see, because it then goes on to say that the word became flesh. In, in the Christian's estimation, it became Jesus Christ. Yes? Well, if that is the case, I'm, I'm going back now, and look, I'm not a Christian, here you are. You believe in this, so you explain to me. When it says in the beginning there was the word, I'm asking, was the word an independent entity? Was it in the, same, in, the in the in the construct? Yes. Was it also independent of God in its belief? No. It was by definition to grammar. It was showing that there Look, was something separate. You see, just because the grammar is correct, no, I'm same, asking about the belief. It's exactly the same. For you me see what I mean? With you from your own, own belief system. Why? If I say to you, Satan was a snake. You see, there we go again. That's a secondary issue. It's not a secondary issue because you yourself, God, you exactly. Are you saying? Are you saying? this basic. Are you saying to me that Satan is more powerful than God? That he can be take on the form of an. You can say what you want. I'm asking a simple question here. Let's establish a. No. Why should I? Do you believe that Satan is something other than a snake? I am saying no comment on Satan until you dealt dealt with God. Let's uh, I understand. No comment. Ah, I, see. I will leave see what I mean? That you, see what I mean? Your own faith, you deny what you believe. No, How? Uh, I haven't even asked you the question. Does no comment mean deny? What does it? What is what's your reason here? Look, what's your problem with dealing with God? I ask you. What's your problem with dealing with God? What's the problem with dealing with God only? Or is he a snake? Hello. Salam alaikum. My sister. My my sister. I will deal with you later. You see. Let I tell you something, and I don't mean that in an offensive way. Yes? You see, my, my friend, I'm asking from you a your, simple question own, again. From your own faith. You Do you, you want to deal with God? You stated empirically. No, I not empirically, emphatically, no comment. That, that, uh, no uh, comment. That, that Satan was a spirit. Right? No comment. Right? No comment. I haven't stated anything. No comment. Is it two, one? No comment. Your math Let's deal add with up. God. I, no comment means no two comment. No comment. Do you want to deal with God? What do, you mean? do you want to deal with it? Yes or no? Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? Do you want to deal with what, it? What, what is so difficult about my English here? Do you want to deal with the issue of God in relation to John 1 1? Expand on it. 
I'll open it up. Oh, on John 1 1. Oh, well, if you are listening, you would have heard oh, me first so time. What, what I've demonstrated quite amicably. No, you haven't, because I haven't agreed with you. Satan for you. I, I haven't said anything about it. <laughs> and and well, I am using this. Is what? Anyway. Well, from your own words. He is both. No, no, he is Copyrighted both, material here. He's both a spirit and he's a snake. Look, I haven't said that. I said no comment. Well, you know why? Why? No, no comment. comment. I'll tell you why. Well, then I have no comment. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. God bless you. Thank you very much. Come back with reason next time. Thank you. Uh, Where's my sister's gone? They've disappeared. Well, uh, good afternoon, sir. How are you, sir? Why are you asking me the question? There are so many other people here. Ask me anyway. No, um, why do Muslims believe that Christ did not die on the cross and that he was not suffering? They believe that on the last moment uh, Christ was changed by like Judas, that, uh, that God was taking somebody with the same faith because God is saving his good prophet. Mm. But then I, my question to you is, if you believe uh -huh. this, is it not dangerous? Because there are many people uh, who are suffering in prison or in torture or in bad circumstances in life. And like Christians, they say you have to see the, the God in them because Christ was also like them. In the beginning uh, of Christianity, he was alone on the cross. So nobody was thinking this man was right. Afterwards, they begin to see clear. Mm -hmm. Then they say, no, God was inside that man. Like the same thing can happen today, that people are uh, tortured or they are in prison. No, you say, no, uh, at the last moment, God changed. It's mm. like you are taking away a lawyer of all the people who are in prison or in bad circumstances. Mm. Because in Christianity, they tell people, you have to be careful. Some people, they all the others are saying they are bad. No, you don't have to think like this because in the beginning it was the same with Christ. So this is my question to. What was your question exactly? Now, why are you believing that that Christ didn't die on the cross? That right. He changed well, at the end? okay, right. There are two different issues here. Two different questions. The first question is why do we believe? No, we don't believe. It is an accepted fact. Okay. The Quran states it's a fact. You have established the Quran to be a fact, okay? Once you have established that everything else becomes secondary, as I was just saying to no, the other guy. I don't believe it. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. You asked me about the question. Yeah? yeah, yeah? yeah. So, so from, from that perspective, it is clear. The Quran challenges humanity to establish it as evidentially uh, the, the, the way towards God. You've done that. Once you have done that, if whatever it says becomes true automatically. Now, the second issue you are talking about, the Quran says that he was not till now was he crucified. Okay, but it was made to appear to them so. And those who differ therein are full of doubt and follow conjecture. Of a surety they killed him not. Surah 4 verse 157. Now where does it say about this sudden change? Uh, uh, brother, let him answer. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't understand where your question you were talking to. That's because my friend, you have... No, you sorry, I'll slow down. I, I do apologize. Are you from Belgium? Yes. You look Belgium. I don't know why. Sorry. No, I'm looking in yeah. <laughs> No chance. You can never look as handsome as I am. <laughs> anyway, you see, the Quran says, they killed him not, nor did they crucify him. But it was made to appear to them so. And those who, defer, who differ therein, are full of doubt. Anyone who differs from the fact that Christ Jesus it? was crucified, yeah. differ means disagree with it, uh -huh. are full of doubt and full of conjecture. Wama katalu yakinan of a surety they killed him not. I can't see any problem with it. Where's the problem? Yeah, for me, uh, like no, you see, my friend, can I just tell you? For me, are, it's not like I, I, I agree. Have, I, I, I understand. Want to win in this discussion. No, of course not. Problem. And I, I never do that. I just want to know. I agree. Why? Actually, why my friend, choose for such a I'll solution. tell you. Well, what, is, what is your name, my friend? Levin. Levin. I'm Shabir. You see, Levin, you are a Christian? I try to be. Excellent. You, if I tell people that the Christian worships the devil, is it true? No, I don't think they no. worship the devil. No, but if somebody comes and tells you, is it true that you worship the devil? And you tell me no, should I accept your answer? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm telling you the Quran says he was not till nor was he crucified. And those who differ therein are full of doubt and full of conjecture. The Quran is stating a fact. It is saying Jesus Christ was not crucified nor was he killed. Not crucified? 
He wasn't put on the cross, nor was he killed. Okay? So this idea you had about a lawyer being taken, etc., is completely out of the uh, equation. It doesn't work. However, the question therefore arises for the Muslim and also for the Christian, when Jesus Christ is so important to the Christians, according to Paul in 1 Corinthians 15, 14, he says, if Christ be not risen from the dead, then our preaching is in vain and our faith is in vain. Mm -hmm. In other words, if he was not resurrected, mm -hmm. waste of time. Oh, yeah. But for yeah. him to be resurrected, he needed to die. Yeah. If he needed to die, according to Christianity, according to the books of the Bible, yeah. he went upon the cross. Yeah. Can you see how emphatic it is? Can you see how important him being on the cross is according to Christianity? Uh, it is. Yes, it is the, according to Paul, he says, no, no resurrection, no Christ, no faith, no Christianity. That's how important it is. And here comes the Quran. He was not crucified. Yeah, but that, I don't, that's One second. One sec why, why do you believe I, the Quran? It's, 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 years amazing, later. it's amazing, isn't it? It's 600 years later. It was written in Saudi Arabia, not, not, not in the place where, where, where Jesus was living. Okay. So, so the people so can I, I believe more the people. Okay. If, if you are Let living, me give, no. Yes. And then I have a book of somebody of your 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 you are students. Yes. And one of the students of your students yeah. is writing big book about you. Yes. Because you was big scholar. Yeah. Yeah. And then six hundred years later, there is a man who is saying, No, 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 no. I know it much better. Yes. It was like this. Yes. Which one will you believe first? Okay. It sounds, according, one second, okay, one second, no, 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 I agree with you, but you know, you sound so reasonable, no, no, listen, you sound very reasonable and it's a reasonable question. My answer is going to be partly an answer, partly a question, which I want you to reason with, okay? Is God present here? Maybe. Is God present in uh, America? In a way, he is everywhere, but... Is he everywhere? It's possible he is in our world. Right. Forget the possibility. Yeah. I'm asking a simple, simple question. How easy it is. Yeah. If God is everywhere, can God be a witness to everything? Of course he is. And can he narrate to you something that has happened in America? If I pray this evening to have a dream, yeah. maybe he will... He can. And if you are chosen as a prophet by God, can he tell you what happened 500 years ago? It's true. He can, can't he? Yes. So what's the problem? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, you have Can you see? Very reasonable. Okay. So, then the quest, the more important question therefore arises. Yes. Was Muhammad a prophet of God? Yes. That's true. You have to ask that. Because if the Quran is saying the whole foundation of Christianity lies on this crucified Christ and it comes along and says he was not crucified, the foundation has been thrashed to pieces. I don't mean that offensively. Now it is so important for our Christian friends to come and realize whether it is true or not. So, we ask the Christian, you see, in Surah 4 verse 157 of the Quran, it says Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus, son of Mary, who was not killed, nor was he crucified. That's it. That's all he says. But then he goes on and it's, it's, it is spectacular in its statement. What it says, listen carefully and you realize why it says what it says without a biased mind. It says, it was made to appear to them so. And those who defer therein are following doubt and conjecture. You know what the word conjecture means? Yes, exactly. Well, it basically means, you know, I think it's true, it's not true, it might be true, it might. Nothing factual. Okay? It's full of doubt. So I asked my Christian friends, look, the Quran says this, and the Bible is doing that. It's following conjecture. The Bible is following conjecture. According to the Quran, it says, those who follow conjecture don't know what they are talking about. Yes, I'm paraphrasing. Now, if the Quran is saying to you, don't follow conjecture, don't follow doubt, and you are following doubt, who is wrong? So, According to Muslims, you just have to accept the Quran and not use your brain. That's, that's a wishful thinking there, because you see, if I was doing that, I wouldn't be talking to you. That's so, so true. That's true, isn't it? Right, but I'm asking it. I'm saying, look, according to Paul, he says, if Christ be not risen from the dead, preaching is in vain, faith is in vain. 
Muhammad has been given a revelation in which the revelation states Christ was not crucified. So one of them has got to be true. One of them has got to be false. I accept the Bible and I don't accept the Quran. No problem. You are entitled to that. But it doesn't make it true. That may be right. True. Maybe it's right. But I still have more arguments for myself who Ex leads to the Bible than to the Quran. Ex excellent. I'm not right. Still, I'm still not have you got a Bible? Not here. Not well, has anybody got a Bible here? Somebody be courageous enough to give us a Bible. <laughs> okay, Maybe our neighbors. Uh, well, <laughs> our, neighbor, oh, our neighbors will never. Uh, yeah. Will you touch it? If you want, yes. This is the Bible of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Yes. Will you touch it? Why not? Yes. Will you accept it? Accept it? Yes, as the Bible of God. I... Not no, not sure why. No, no, be honest. The, Check no, it. No, no, no. The, the, I, I know that the Jehovah Witnesses have a special translation. And no. According to my faith, yes. that is Catholicism. Uh, I, Are you a Catholic? I, no, let, let us be honest. No, brother. Deal even with in, in Jewish traditions, and I think even in Muslim traditions, you have Shiites, you have Sunnis. Mm -hmm. So you have many, look, look, we are different people, we, we, have have one, we, we have many are we we have many experiences. Before we, no, let's not uh, divert. You see, my friend, the only thing that they have done, yes. okay, is change where the word God is yes, into I, Jehovah. Yes, I think so. Right. Then I accept Now, you see what, I'm telling you that mm -hmm. we are telling the Muslim, our Christian friends, mm -hmm. they are following conjecture. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now. You see, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the ones that tell you about Jesus Christ and his uh, life and on the, on the cross. Do you agree? Yes, and I know there are differences in the way they are talking about the life here. Right. Now, out of the Gospel of Matthew, yes. just read me chapter 17, verse 21. Just read me verse 21. It's not there. <laughs> it's not there. 17, yeah. and I see... It's not there? No. What happened to it? I don't know. Okay. It, it is missing. Why it is missing? Because in the most ancient manuscripts, it's not there. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? We agree? Now, you see, do you know the Trinity? Yes. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Yes. Spirit. Yes. Where do you find it in the Bible? Are you familiar? I don't think you find it in right. the Bible. Actually, it's, a, actually, it's a construction that uh, philosophers made about uh, God. Okay. Well, it was found in 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. It is there? It was there. Mm -hmm. It was there. It's not there anymore. Uh -huh. It's been taken out. Yes. Why? I don't know. Because it was an addition to the Bible. Somebody added it in. It was uh, not there. The somebody, uh, exactly. Yeah. Now, here you are knowing that somebody has added and taken away from this book, yet you believe in it. Look, it's not because I, I have a car and there are some scratches in it, I cannot drive the car. I agree with you. So now the Bible is like a car. Let's deal with it. If it went for a... If it went, I hope it's right, a good break. That's good. Now, what do you think the engine is of the car? Don't you think the belief in Jesus Christ is the engine? Oh, look, you can make a lot of comparisons. I don't no, no, no. The most basic. Body. No, I won't. I won't put anything. I won't twist it. Um, the brakes, the brakes, maybe. Hmm? Yeah, read it if you want, it doesn't no, matter. No, 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 I am thinking. I think Christ has must be in every part of the car or to, to, to fall out. Without it. Yes. I believe I agree in, with a way, you. in a way, every part of the you car see, must be in You see, I say, I, I say, exactly, no, the engine. I say this much. If you take the car of Christianity to an MOT center, it will fail. Hmm. You know why? No. Read the chapter 8, verse 37 of the book of Acts. 8. Chapter 8, verse 37. 37. It also disappeared, yes. <laughs> it disappeared. It's not there. Okay. Now you see, tires are missing from the car. <laughs> okay? I don't know what we're I'm using there. your example. Right? But, you know, Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 37. This verse, you know what it's talking about? Does anybody know? No. You know what it's talking about? It's talking about Jesus Christ being the Son of God. Mm. Isn't that important to Christianity? For me, it's important. It is, but it was removed. So I don't accept this Bible anymore. No, I didn't know that it was such a Bible. Actually, in the Catholic version, it's the same. It's not there. Uh -huh. Well, if it isn't there, there's another problem. Can you just hold this? Yes. Thank you, brother. Another problem, my friend. You see, we are dealing with the issue of Christ. Yes. 
Now, if I can prove to you, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John were not direct eyewitnesses to the event. I okay? Agree. Agree. And let's take it one step further. The Gospel of Mark chapter 14 verse 50, we are told there that when the critical time came, they all forsook him and fled. Who is all? All the disciples of Christ ran away. Yes, yes, yes. Well, if they ran away, were they eyewitnesses? Maybe Maria, the women? No, I didn't ask about Maria. I'm asking about oh, all those close they associates. Say, they say that uh, Maria and St. John were, were 